Didn't know what I was, didn't know what I wanted to be All I know is that I couldn't see Stevie made me wonder was it better to be blind Would that be easier to find? It in a life for me to shine To see the sound was too high to see That ribbon in the sky too much right in the home That the thoughts in the dome Suicide dreams will wake me alone Looking for a different world, take me home Somewhere unknowing on my own With that all the stress is pain in my chest Getting hard to breathe, can't see what I see I'm trapped in a system and the haze What is different? Anyone with a vision, they don't fucking listen Hello, my name is Savannah, and I am here as a member from Give Us the Floor. Give Us the Floor is a nonprofit organization that's by teens for teens, and we're a community that exists in person and online where we share our concerns and experiences through group discussions, blog posts, videos, art, and more, just like this interview. So today we are here with singer, musician, and first female world champion beatboxer, best known as Butterscotch. Thank you so much, Butterscotch, for being here with us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. So, when Valerie told you about Give Us the Floor, you instantly related. Could you please tell us why? Yeah, I, I struggled uh, in my youth um, with depression and had quite a hard time. And I, 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 you know, I didn't really realize at the time that I, I think um, it had to do with home life as well as a chemical imbalance in my brain because I just felt like unhappy and I was getting good grades and I played sports and was always pretty pretty good at them. And then when I was 15, I injured my knee and um, knowing me back then, I was always like, I loved basketball. I loved soccer. And I don't know like why I didn't have the drive to get back into basketball. I just became really depressed. And, um, but then, um, I was accepted to this performing arts school and I'd always, you know, I grew up playing piano and, uh, playing other instruments. And so when I got to that art school, I just kind of flourished because I finally had something that I could express, you know, all my anger, um, my love, all my, just all the details of, of, you know, what was going on in my head out through this, um, you know, this portal of music. I'm trying to live, can't you see what you hate? That's the me. I'm trying to live, trying to live, let me be free. It's none of your business here. I'm with a woman or a man, frankly. I don't give a damn what you think. I'm a freak. What I do in the sheets doesn't concern you. I don't understand why you care so much. Why do you people stare so much? Why you putting glare so much? Like you're the one to judge. Like you fucked up life. You can't get enough pushing people down like you wear a crown. The king is dead. My time is now. I'ma walk around like I own this shit. Never back down cause I'm making hits. Don't believe in violence but I won't turn the cheek if it makes me weak. Cause the hate you inflict makes me weak. From my brothers and sisters who lost that life's now better than the deep. Do you think it would have helped if you had like a group like give us the floor like a group where people could relate to you in that way or did you feel like you had that support system already i definitely feel like that would have helped when i was in junior high i did go to this anger management group and it's just locking people up like in like almost like a prison like way doesn't help like the only thing like we do want to get out of there but like mentally i don't think that's that's healthy it's like i don't know we need nature <laughs> and we need to be around people in an environment that help us and that love us and want to see it succeed what made you start a singing beatboxing and just musical career what what really got you into music my mom's a piano teacher and i'm the youngest of five kids so we all grew up playing piano and at least one other instrument and my mom wouldn't allow us to watch tv so um there'd just be tons of instruments lying around so i'd just pick up different i was never like that great at any of them but it just it just provided, you know, a landscape of, of uh, you know, of music and art. Then I started to beatbox in high school. There's this new kid at school who was amazing. First time I heard it live, I was like, that is so cool. <laughs> and I just wanted to try it. So I didn't take it really too seriously at first. I beatbox and sing. It's just a part of me. It's an instrument. I don't need equipment or anything else. I just do what's inside of me. Personality-wise, I'm pretty quiet. I like music better than talking. Beatboxing brings out who I am. And it's a natural high. Time 
Time's up, I guess I'm done. done, done. <laughs> Dad was my number one fan, and my mom, you know, was happy that I was doing music. I was happy. Like any teenage girl, um, there, you know, my mom and I <laughs> would bump heads. I have like a core group of, of best friends. I don't have a lot of friends, but the ones that are there are like, they're there for me like through thick and thin. So I'd say like those are my rocks. It's hard finding people who you can fully trust, especially being in the music industry. It's, um... There's a lot of sharks out there, and you think they have your best interests, um, but then they either take money from you or their ego gets involved. So it's it can be quite rough. But I'm thankful to have my best friends who are like my family. So in high school, there's are always certain like societal standards and expectations. But throughout high school, do you feel like you fit into those expectations, or were you kind of like out of the box? And I felt that the the public school that I went to um, in Davis was very it was very clicky. But usually, I think the groups that I normally hung out with were pretty mixed. It was interesting. But at, at the art school that I went to, it was so cool. Like, my first day there, um, just people walking around playing guitars. And I got to take, like, you know, visual art classes as well as theater. And I don't know, people were just more open. That's my, you know, my um, ideal world is where everyone can be themselves and no one, um, no one judges them for it. So I read that when you aren't traveling and performing, you're teaching beatboxing workshops to different age groups from like college to all the way to elementary. So what's that experience like for you, like going from performance to helping other yeah. people perform? It's fun. It's fun. My favorite thing is when, uh, when I teach kids and like the boys are usually like, yeah, like I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> um, but the girls are always shy. But I always find one girl, and she comes up, and she just, like, kills it. <laughs> and they don't even know, they don't even know they have this power to do it. You know, I, I, I want to uplift, you know, particularly the girls, because they're the ones who are sitting back. And I just want to bring the message that, you know, it's possible to do anything, no matter what your background is. Or You never know if you're good at something until you try. And even if you're bad at it the first time, that doesn't mean that you're gonna be terrible forever. What do you do on your spare time when you're not working on music or teaching? What, what are your hobbies? I love to write um, and I want to, you know, I mean, writing songs, like I, I've been touring so much that it's hard to, um, it's hard to take the time just to write. Um, but I also, I mean, I love to work out. I still like to, you know, shoot hoops sometimes. I love photography. I haven't drawn in a while, but um, I used to love to draw. Do you have a favorite song that you've written, whether it's lyrically or just rhythmically? Do you have something that you just like performing even? This new song that I wrote called We Are All We Got, and I paired up with these awesome producers um, who've worked with uh, like Jay-Z, Dr. Dre, Justin Bieber. Um, they wrote the music part, and then I wrote the, the lyrics to it. Um, so we all like inspired each other to make this like great song. It's called We Are All We Got, and it's about uplifting ourselves and knowing that you know this world is it can be a terrible place but it also can, also can be a beautiful place a group of you it's like we are all we got and we can't keep destroying this world because this is all we got but my other favorite song maybe i wrote a song about my dad um because he passed away a couple years ago um and i still haven't performed it live i think it's it's just it's difficult personal but yeah, yeah, I, I, I do want to, but I, I think I have to feel like I'm in a safe place. It's like one of the best songs that I've written because it's so real and raw. So what was your style like growing up, and how do you compare it to your style now? My style back then was no style. <laughs> when I first found the beginning of the evolution of the, the, the style of butterscotch <laughs> was um, when I got my first break. Um, to go to New York and do this thing with Verizon and um, they gave me they picked me up in this town car I was only I was like 20 uh, they picked me up in this town car took me to the W I had a per diem and I was like oh my gosh this is so cool so I had extra money to go and spend on clothes because I never had I never really had extra money to get like the latest fashion about six or seven years ago I cut my hair and then that was it was pretty short it was kind of like a mohawk style uh, but then I, you know, took the back off and then my hair was pretty short, but then like, I kind of like, it kind of like I would swoop it and it became like a Jimmy Neutron style. 
<laughs> um, and then it just kept on growing. So then I kept on like curling it, curling it. And then it kind of like became this and kind of like swoops down. And then eventually I just added, you know, the white strip. I've been doing my eyebrow like this for the past like six, seven years. Finally, if you could go back and tell something to your younger self, what would it be? It would probably be, don't take everything so seriously. Um, and have more fun with everything you do and not to worry it all works out just like have fun because I've, I've i've been so and i need those reminders now too because i get stuck in these ruts sometimes um like right now like con like like being in the music industry there's so many like contracts and like all these things that you're just like ah i just want to do music you know and i have to remind myself like today i need like thank you for 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 asking me that question because i need to remind myself now that yeah i just need to, i need to remind myself why i'm doing this in the first place and that's because I love it and it makes me happy. Thank you so much, Butters yeah. and Scotch, for speaking with us. Uh, give us the floor, speaking with me. It was a pleasure to meet with you, talk to you. I love your hair. I love your style. Um, <laughs> remember, if you, to find out more about Butterscotch, you can visit her website, butterscotchmusic.com. And you can find out more about our teen-led nonprofit, Give Us the Floor, by visiting www.giveusthefloor.org. Will you be a butterfly? Will you be dirt? Spend your time for those you hurt. Step on me and I'll step on you for all the things you put me through. Tired of hiding, tired of fighting. Can't understand my life is frightening. Never gonna see what you want me to be. A grain of salt in an endless sea. I don't take what you say seriously. So stop all your hating and let me free. It's hard when you're different and everyone thinks the same. Rise above all the bullshit, stay on top of your game. The walls may crumble, keep on climbing to the top. They try to drag us down, but we're never gonna I'm stop. I'm trying to live.